Hey, it's Tyson here. I'm going to go ahead and show you today how to create a MIDI map using nothing but your voice and the export to MIDI feature in Melodyne. It's a really cool trick if you uh, don't know how to play a certain instrument or you just kind of want to get something from your mind to your digital audio workstation down to a track. So um, there's a few things you need to know. Uh, when you're singing in Melodyne, you probably just want to hum it. You can't, you shouldn't sing it because the more it picks up, the more you have to do some cleanup work. So that's one thing you got to do. And then you just got to know some of the basic features on Melodyne, such as quantizing the time and flattening out the waves. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a little four bar loop using two instrument tracks. Uh, I got to expand on each thing and I created one audio track here. Uh, let's go ahead and hear the loop that I'm going to sing to. And it just repeats from there. Now let's go ahead and record a bass line for this. So what I'm going to do next is just go ahead and sing something that I think would be an acceptable bass line for the part. Baseline's been sung. I'm going to go ahead and open up Melodyne and analyze it. I'll take off the pre roll and let's get analyzing. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at what went on. Okay, I can already see there's a little few little things where it kind of detected I was making a little sound, but you don't want that. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to quantize the time, we're going to um, pitch everything perfect, and we're going to flatten the waves. Let's go ahead and flatten the waves first. We're going to move everything to the nearest pitch note, and we're going to go ahead and flatten out the waves. So we'll select all of them, hear it now. So I have to move some notes to the correct location because we need this thing to be exact. Let's hear what it sounds like. there we have to just move a few pitches but I think I moved everything into the right location now let's go ahead and quantize the time we're going to take a look at it on the time grid and I think what we need to do is move everything to the nearest eighth note and 100 percent it save this to MIDI. I'm going to call this base save. Now what we do in Pro Tools is we import that file that we just exported to MIDI base and we're going to put it into a new track and it's right here. And what I want to do is I want it to actually be in an instrument track so I can just use expand. I'm going to move it to this new instrument track and I'm going to use expand and I kind of envisioned that part I sang as being a bass line so I'm going to go ahead and use a bass track for it. Basses are here and let's just do a, I don't know, hard pick bass and see what it sounds like. I'm going to mute the old track. go. 
it. Now it's in there. You have the freedom to move it around in MIDI, change notes, quantize even further. But um, that's it. So as you can see, the Save the MIDI feature in Melodyne is pretty powerful stuff. So if you haven't ever thought of using Melodyne in that fashion before, go out there and have fun with it.